Sarde. What can I do for you? I've explored many ruins on this island. Ruins that, after careful scrutiny, were built by the congregation. In one of them, we found a journal that made reference to your guild. This document, as are the buildings, date much further back than the arrival of the Bridge Alliance a decade ago. These discoveries raise a good many questions. Questions that my cousin would like you to answer. I understand. All the same, we are in a difficult situation. We are bound by the pact. I could eventually overlook these engagements if you would perform a service. Commander Fernando, who holds the port of San Mateus, has problems with certain members of Teleme. The bishop that accompanies you on occasion could without a doubt tell you more. I won't hesitate to speak to him about it. Solve these problems, and I will reconsider the validity of the pact. I will answer your questions. Anything else? I need to be going. Until we meet again, Admiral. Okay, it seems that we need to uh, bring Bishop. Uh, the who's the guy again? The name the <coughs> Petrus. If I'm not wrong, we're gonna bring him this time together. I'm just gonna remove Vasco first and add him in, and let's talk to him. Ah, my child, I'm happy that you are here. I've had an idea that I wish to present to you. Please do. I've known the Mother Cardinal for quite some time. She is a formidable woman, gifted and diplomatically skilled. I fear that your cousin might be a little defenseless when dealing with her and would like to give him a few weapons. What do you have in mind? Diplomacy is not only a matter of formal encounters and choreographed etiquette. If we had the means to action more personal leverage, the Mother Cardinal could not manipulate your cousin. How could we ever find anything of that sort? Everyone has nasty little secrets, my child. It's our task to discover Cornelia's. Very well. Let's go and discover what the governor would rather keep hidden from the world. Excellent. How would you like to go about this? We must search her apartments in St. Matthias. They'll be guarded, of course. But if we are discreet, that shouldn't be a problem. This is taking quite a risk. The congregation's reputation could suffer if we're caught. And my cousin's position would be weakened. I know. But keep in mind that I know the palace extremely well. And if we want to be sure to pass without being noticed, we need only dress ourselves up as servants. That would improve our chances. Well, let's do it. What can I do for you, my child? I had a meeting with Admiral Cabral concerning what we found in those ruins. She said she was bound by a pact that kept her from answering questions on the subject. The noughts are nothing more than mercenaries of the oceans. I suppose that she wants something in exchange. Effectively. She told me that her men posted at San Mateus met with some problems, and she advised me to speak to you. Does that make sense? I believe I see what the Admiral is speaking about. Or rather, who? A few of our zealous brothers are overcome by their faith. You already witnessed it for yourself at San Mateus. They look with a wary eye at all those who do not swear faith to Teleme, and refuse to express their faith openly. It is possible they have decided to target the Norts. We will need to speak with those on Teleme lands. And, of course, seek out the Bishop Domitius. What was your role at my uncle's court? Were you already an ambassador? No. But I was part of the embassy. I had only just started my career as a diplomat back then. Teleme was hoping to convert the congregation, and they had sent me to spread the word. I tried to teach you some of the basics because you had a predisposition for magic. But you were so young. You preferred to run around the halls with a wooden sword in hand, chasing your cousin. I will see you later, father. Take care, my child. Okay, it seems that uh, we have also Patrice's quest. 
uh, Patrice Christ, it seems like um, it's more about Mother Cardinal. Okay, and then we have the this quest saying that question Bishop Domitius at St. Matthias question commander Fernando about the problem in Salome so all three quests are in Salome and I aim to go for the search the cardinal apartment first alright Patrice quest which is in, in the Salome uh, again all three of them is right there if I'm not wrong wait hold on what's, what's this Go to the village indicated by Patrice. What do you mean? I'm very confused. There's so many quests right now. Okay, so these two uh to find the cure for Malakor. So this is the ancient secret. So again we're gonna do Patrice first. So where is it down here? As you can see that there are all the three quests are right there. So let's head for that place. <coughs> Okay, so we have to go here. Governor's Palace. Oh, I don't understand. It was that. Mother Cardinal Cornelia. in this area so I just want to make sure oh yeah um okay you know what wait let's just let's just focus on the mission first I'm literally very confused I don't know how to go up is there another room that can go up well I need to spread out man I need to explore every single room Ah, there's a room here. I mean, there's a staircase here, but it's going down. Ooh, what's this place? Oh my gosh. What is this? Kinda creepy though. Oh. This area of the palace is forbidden to visitors. By order of the Mother Cardinal. We did not know. Please, excuse us. The basements are for servants only. Very well. We'll go back up. Huh. It's kind of the team as servants. Come closer. Don't hesitate. Welcome to the best holy item shop in San Mateus. Do you like it here in San Mateus? It is impossible not to like it here. The air and... Wow. Battle ring. Holy crap. Only a melee weapon. Huh? Okay, so... Uh, ooh, Dr. Mars. Cool. Lumberjack. Comfortable. Oh, this one. Crossman. Okay, so um always keep you in his divine blessing. Yes, thank you very much. Okay. It looks very funny, but you know what? Okay, we, we, we can do it, you know what I mean? It's just for a while. But am I in the right place? Because in the basement? You know what? I'm just gonna explore. 
maybe you find additional item like uh, no chest or anything <laughs> gotcha there's so many rooms excuse me can I go in whoa what the heck is this it's like another secret what dungeon eh? doesn't seem like there's it's blocked it's blocked I guess we have to go the other side then It seems like we got no choice but to go up here then. Whoa. Ah, your excellency. The enlightened must have sent you. I would like to ask a favor of you. I'm listening. As you may be aware, we suspected this island might be the one Saint Lucius wrote about. Is that so? We did, but let me explain. This island was where Saint Matthias lived at the end of his life, and where he founded a perfect community. Some time ago, we created a village which we called Eden, following his example. We chose this place as it seemed to be the closest to the one described in the Holy Scriptures. It is a home to a community of converted islanders, accompanied and guided in their budding faith by our theologians. As you can imagine, it is of the utmost importance to us, all the more so because we discovered some tablets there, which were engraved by our founder. An extraordinary discovery that confirms your suspicions. I see you understand. Alas, these tablets were stolen, probably by the islanders who still reject our influence. I know that you are generally well accepted by the natives. That is why I was hoping that you could help us to retrieve what belongs to us. I suppose I could go to Eden and try to retrieve them. Marvelous. The leader of the community, Father Eustinius, will be able to answer your questions. May the Enlightened assist you in this holy quest, Your Excellency. Can I go here? Yeah? Oh! A key to a secret room. Okay, hold on. I'm very confused with the quest because I disguised the team as servants. I did, right? I'm very confused. I I I somehow think like the the quest all just you no know, messed up. Oh, I'm the one who messed up. Ooh, damn. Whoa. Who the heck is that man? Aha. Whoa. So may I see ya. Oh. Is there something I can, I can do here? Okay. Oh. 
what's the quest again? Find what he didn't under the palace in. Okay. Maybe I should go explore. It's a nice place though. Hey, what's up man? Seems that the door was blocked just now, but now I can open. <laughs> kind of weird. Ah, well, this is a very unique place. The smell of stupor and vice reign as its masters. You're not wrong. We should search this place. Oh, for goodness sake. This room reeks of alcohol. And not just any old alcohol, if my nose does not deceive me. Cornelia always had great taste when it came to drinking. It seems that someone forgot their earring. Oh, here is an object of more than questionable taste. A woman from a good family would never wear it. It's junk. The kind of thing a courtesan would wear. I didn't know you were an expert on the subject, Father. The subject of jewelry? No, of courtesans. We are here at the heart of human depravity. Outrageous luxury, excessively priced alcohol, obvious debauchery. Surely this is enough to incriminate the Mother Cardinal. No, my child. These things are common in certain circles, even in Teleme, unfortunately. Cornelia may well have organized these things for others. These parties might be of use in gaining some political favor. We must find out who is involved and learn more. The earring that we found may help us with that. We could ask at the brothel if it belongs to a prostitute. We should continue searching. Perhaps we missed something. This document is highly important. By reading it carefully, you could learn a lot. The Mother Cardinal apparently borrows large amounts of money from a moneylender. Actually, enormous sums. What's more, she does so quite regularly. How does she manage to give it all back? Hmm. And the name Candy Cane crops up several times. Quite suspicious, don't you think? This sweet person must be doing her huge favors to get these sums. I think we have everything we need. There is probably a connection between these pleasure parties and the account books. Let's ask a few questions. The moneylender is well established. He can be found near the main square. As for this candy cane, the name doesn't ring any bells to me, but the moneylender must know more about him. We can also go and gather information at the coin tavern. Perhaps the manager knows him.
Okay, so we have so many, so many, so many um, question innkeeper, prostitutes, bookmaker, and the money lender. Let's get out this disturbing room. I just want to get out of this so annoying barrel barrels. So, uh, we're gonna ask the innkeeper first. Hello, excuse me. Can I help you? Yes, actually. I have a small favor to ask. You don't look like you need money from me. I know that you know the Mother Cardinal. She borrowed money from you on several occasions. I want to know why. Where did you find that out? Hmm? Who told you? I want to know why she borrows money from you. Lending money is my job. It's not illegal. And, and I don't have to give you an answer. I imagine that the name Candy Cane rings a bell. Obviously. All of San Matthias knows that name. Can you tell me about him? I don't know him personally. We've never been introduced. But rumor has it that he often hangs out in the basement at the Coin Tavern. You ask far too many questions. My guys will make you regret sticking your nose in other people's business. Okay. Maybe I just should change to, uh, to my... What do you call this? My outfit. Give me a moment. Okay. Can I talk to him again? No? Excuse me, sir. Come on. You kidding me? Oh! Dead, dead, you fucking bitch. I'll tell you everything. But after that, leave me be and do not come back. Why is the Cardinal borrowing money from you? And how does she pay you back so quickly? I have no idea. And to be honest, I don't care in the slightest. All I can do is assure you that she's not helping herself to the city funds, if that's what you're thinking. How could you possibly know that? <laughs> because San Mateus is rich, but not that rich. With a Cardinal, we're talking about whew, astronomical amounts. And what's Candy Cane's role in all of this? I don't know. I really have no dealings with him. We have never met, and I have no desire to. He and the Cardinal have a connection, but I... I just lend money. I have nothing to do with him. My advice to you is don't get involved. Those two are dangerous. I would advise you to keep all of this to yourself. I, I don't want any trouble. I will be as silent as a stone. Okay, thank you very much. Let's save. Hello everyone. How are you guys? Can I get you anything? No. Nothing. I'm here for something else. Can I ask you a couple of questions? If you wish. What would you like to know? You sometimes deliver goods to your big clients. Isn't that right? Of course. The rich don't like to get drunk among mere mortals. And have you ever supplied anyone from the palace? Yes, that has happened. It suits them. And who places these orders? Well, a steward, of course. Don't you know how things work? A woman? Dressed in a long green cloak? No, the steward is more discreet. On the other hand, the person in the big green coat... The steward speaks to her sometimes. They know each other or work together. Do you think that the Mother Cardinal may have been here? 
Are you drunk or something? What can you tell me about a certain candy cane? Candy cane? Everyone speaks about him, or has heard of him, but no one really knows him. And what do they say about him? Here, nothing. You need to go downstairs for that sort of thing. To the games room and the brothel? Yes, that's more the kind of place where they talk about him. I have to go. I will leave you to your work. Where's this downstairs? Oh, I go one way. Good day. Welcome. You here to wager? To fight? On what would we be betting? On the fights in the arena. You never heard of them. Quite a few come here and bet fortunes. And do they win? A few do. Others have less luck. But they do get the thrill either way, you see. And that's all that counts. What is this arena? It's a place of great pomp and entertainment, where all manner of fights take place. Men, women, savage beasts, island monsters. People are coming from everywhere on the island to participate, or to bet. I imagine that the name Candy Cane rings a bell. Obviously, even though I would prefer it wasn't the case. He's a sort of organizer. He captures most of the beasts who fight in the arena. How is that a problem? Apparently, he's fixed a few fights. These kind of rumors aren't good for my business. If that's the case, why don't you stop him? He has friends, protectors. Without solid evidence, no one will lift a finger. And the only ones who wanted to speak of his cartel have disappeared. Do you know where I could find him? He often hangs out around the port at night, but I strongly advise you to stay away from the guy. I know how to look after myself. Thanks for the information. Has the Mother Cardinal ever come here to place bets? <laughs> the Mother Cardinal? And why not Saint Matthias himself while you're at it? I must be going. Next time, then. Wait, I thought I got one more person. Oh, it's a legit arena. I don't know. A feast for the eyes, ladies and gentlemen. And it's free. Come and see me as soon as you have made your choice. You. So, have you found what you were looking for? Let's just say that I'm gathering information. My treasures are worth their price. I promise you that you will get your money's worth. For you, I'm sure we can make a special arrangement. Oh, shit. Let Petrus intervene. Um, intervene, okay. I should have gotten the... I should have brought... Uh, who's this? Vasco along. Maybe later. You won't be disappointed. Okay, this is very interesting. Oh, should I pay? Okay, I'm so lazy to get out of here and get Vasco back in into my party. You know what? Let's just just talk to him and just pay about it. So, let's just my treasure for you. I'm so lazy to you know change. Here you are. Thank you, my lady. I'll let you take your pick. Thank you. Look, a new face. Oh, but wouldn't that be... Hello, Father. I... Uh, oh, hello. Hmm. We would like to know if you know who this earring belongs to. Is it maybe yours? Absolutely not. I am careful not to leave my belongings with clients. 
and I have no desire to answer your questions. That doesn't fall within my services. Very well. Goodbye. There are too many of you for me alone, my little lambs. Sorry, madam, but we are here to ask other favors of you. This question might seem a little surprising, but do you know who this earring might belong to? Why, it's mine. I, I lost it when... How, how did you get hold of it? Are you sure you want to broach that subject here? You're right. Come with me. Well, what do you want? Why are you giving me back my earring? You know where we found it, don't you? Obviously. I realized as soon as I got back that I'd lost it. I imagine your pimp does not know that you take part in these parties. He doesn't dabble in this at all. No, do not say anything to him, I beg you. He's on my case enough as it is. Then I suggest you answer my questions. <sighs> what would you like to know? Could you tell us who you saw at the parties? Rich people, or better. They seemed very rich and important to me. But I don't know them. Do you know who organizes these parties? Not really, no. A steward pays me when I go, but I don't see anyone else, apart from the clients. You can't even give me a single name? No. The only person who sometimes speaks to this steward is a woman who is always wearing a green coat. She never takes part in the festivities, but the steward rushes over whenever she arrives. Do you think that an important person from Teleme could have partaken in these soirees? You're thinking of Mother Cardinal, aren't you? You lot really think we are a bunch of degenerates. You're hardly a shining example of virtue, my child. Just answer our questions. Sorry, Father, I don't know the Mother Cardinal, but I strongly doubt she dabbles in that. You don't think you could recognize her, and you don't think you've crossed paths? <sighs> what a testimony. Admit it. You must know more than you're letting on. It's virtually impossible not to recognize someone while being so close to these influential people. Wouldn't you agree? Well, I was able to recognize someone, once. Even with a mask on, I'm good at recognizing my clients. Please continue. I'm all ears. I don't want to implicate anyone, but he is of no real importance. And you've probably never even heard of him. It's the local moneylender. I know very well who you're referring to, my dear. But I didn't mention anything to you, huh? This stays between us. I don't even remember the subject of this conversation anymore. This woman in the green coat. Could you tell me about her? She always hides her face and never joins us. Then she disappears into a little office and locks the door. I see. She is quite important, then. Do you know someone who goes by the name of Candy Cane? Everyone does. He is a powerful person, so his name makes the rounds. Have you ever spotted him at these... pleasure parties? In all honesty, I wouldn't even be able to recognize him. I've heard his name before, but that's all. Thank you for your help. Be sure not to mention this to anyone. I'd lose my clients if they suspected me of speaking about them, you know. The funny part is that everybody stand like a freaking statue, man. That is so creepy. God, really creepy. I don't understand why this mission is it a bug or something? Question the bookmaker and the Sam Matthias, question the innkeeper. But I already talked to the innkeeper, but in the end, I should talk to him again. I don't get it. Never mind, we try to talk to him. Maybe he give me a different answer. Ah, no. Let's just talk to him. Can I get. Look who it is. I am looking for a woman who comes here. Yes, I have seen this coat before. But I have no idea who is beneath it, if that's what you're asking. All I know is that I've seen her speaking to a regular, a steward of the palace who comes to place big orders. Always prime choice. I have to go. I will leave you to your work. Eh? Oh. 
I never complete the conversation lol Okay So I completed that one So lower floor question the bookmaker eh? Downstairs Okay I didn't know about that This guy again Why everything is so weird Good day Welcome You here to wager? I am looking for someone A woman wearing a big green coat Yeah I know who you mean She's a good client. She comes in, especially for the big fights, and she has prime information. Do you know where I can find her? No, I don't even know her name. She wouldn't happen to be coming back to collect some winnings, would she? No, and I can't really tell you when she'll show up next. I must be going. Next time, then. So, how do you see things, my child? I think that the usurer is lending money to the Cardinal. And very significant sums at that. With this money, she bets on the arena fights while hiding in a big green coat. And she also gives large amounts to a certain candy cane, known for fixing fights. Not only does our dear Cornelia love betting games, but she also wouldn't think twice about cheating to win. Maybe he is just giving her advice. How can we prove anything? We can always try asking him. Who knows? Perhaps he will give us an answer. Find a question, Candy Cane. Okay, let's go. Candy Cane is not here. At least not yet. Remember, my child, the bookmaker told us that he hangs around here at night. That's true, you were right. Let's come back later. Okay, where's my home? Oh, okay. Whoa. Good evening. Are you the one they call Candy Cane? Who are you? Desarde, legate of the merchant congregation. A legate, no less. I imagine in these cases, the one accompanying you is the famous Petrus. You seem to be very well informed. Therefore, you might be able to answer my question. What do you know about a woman in a green coat? Why would I tell you? We know that you have business with this woman. And that she is actually the Mother Cardinal. How did you... You would be better off forgetting that. That's not exactly the response I'd imagined. But nevertheless, seems rather eloquent. I told you to forget about it. Or you'll soon run into trouble. Legget or no legget. Come on. It was just an innocent little conversation. Goodbye, Mr. Kane. Bye. And Godspeed. We have enough information. Really? Is the fact that she bets on fights that are potentially fixed enough for you? It's already a huge scandal. Let me just think about it for a little while. I will find a way of putting this information to good use. I have faith in you, Father. Nice! Awesome! But these are bandits, actually. I wonder why I can't fight them. I wanna kill them. I don't care. I don't care. Okay, anyway. We have completed the uh, Petrus. That's good. A trouble in Eden. 
Uh, maybe the only leader. Let's go towards the. Uh, there, there, there are a lot of quests here, which I eh, sorry, I go wrong please. You can go to the harbor office, question Commander Fernando about the problem you tell me, and then we have the question Bishop. So since yeah, we are nearby here, so why not? Yeah, why not? 